guys and welcome back to today's video so today as me is napping currently so i'm just going to try and get maybe one or two videos filmed quickly this morning while she's napping so this morning i've actually put her in her bedroom cot for the first time properly for a nap so let's see how long this lasts um so i thought that today i would film a different video but i've actually just come into the living room for i might as well film like a video about my baby's favorite toys and our little <laughs> tour of the toy corner so um i'll give you like a quick overshow of our living room um just bear in mind it's not it's not great i haven't really tidied up this morning and i've just quickly put her toys back to where they normally are and then um yeah that's it really so if i give you a quick tour of the living room and then we can talk about her favorite toys and how we've set it up in our house our living room is quite big and the way it's set up that means that the back of the living room can be like a play area so it's we're quite lucky really that we've got this space um and obviously i appreciate everyone doesn't have this space but i just thought i'd give you a little tour so for a bit of context our little one is nine months old almost ten months old so the toys you'll be seeing is like that kind of age range um and my hair is awful today again like i always get these bits at the back that are curly that i took behind because um i've got like bad postpartum hair that's like grown back if you've had a baby you'll probably know what i mean but all these hairs are growing and they just don't go anywhere so i've just put a bit of water on them to try and stick them back but if anyone's got any tips to sort this mess out then let me know um but yeah let's get on with today's video this is the door to our living room as maybe walker is there currently because she was playing in it and she kind of stopped at the door obviously she can't get in because of the baby gate also i kind of decided to put this here so she can't get to the dog's water this morning because she is a nightmare she will just call out of the lounge and straight into the dog's water so yeah this is the entrance to our living room from the kitchen the dryer's just on so hopefully that doesn't you know make my voice quiet um so yeah currently on her walker i need to give her a bit of clean because this morning she decided to put her hand in this plant as you can see there's a trail of soil and stuff on the floor she put her hand in the plant and then had soil all over her walker <laughs> so normally on her walker she has these little toys that she likes to put in her mouth and play with so these are just three perfect toys um i'm not actually sure what they're from but like the legs move and stuff but i did end up buying like a a Peppa Pig bundle on Facebook from someone. So that is the toy she plays with. So we have this stair gate just so she can't get out of the living room. But at the minute she's at a stage where if the stair gate shut, she doesn't quite understand. So she could repeatedly like bumps into it. So we tend to keep it open. Over here, we've got this little toy. I've just put some nappies on there at the minute. They're going to be going upstairs. But she loves this. She sits on it and then these spin and she plays on it. It's really fun um so this is like an overview of our whole living room the garden is really messy at the minute we're going to be getting that done this summer this is just here at the minute i was deciding whether i was going to keep this or get rid of it it's a really heavy book stand it was from home sense but i'm not quite sure and then this is our table this is our nappy changing area if you didn't know already we do use cloth nappies so esme does have this pillow just to put her head on and then we have this box I had to stop filming because this little monkey woke up, so I got a dress, didn't you, Esme? You slept in your own cot for your nap today for one of the first times ever, but you only slept for about 20 minutes, so you're going to be really tired. I don't think anyone's actually on YouTube seen her crawling yet, so <laughs> Esme can crawl. But anyway, let's get back to our quick tour. <laughs> so this is our nappy changing station. As I said, we use cloth nappies. So these are just like a range of different brands. This tub was from b and I think. Actually, these are from Asda, but they do sell them in B&M. <laughs> and this is just, um, these are the pile of wet bags. So we have loads of different ones, so different sizes as well. So like these smaller ones are perfect if you're going just for a quick outing, you just need one nappy. Um, I also use these upstairs for wipes and this is actually our wipe bag so we just use these cloth wipes as well and then these are just different sizes so these are smaller ones so if we're going on a longer day out these are just perfect for a couple of nappies and then I've got um this is my really big one <laughs> so we use that and tend to like wash every three days and put them in there so we just keep them there and that there we did end up keeping them in the cupboard at the start but i think even though it doesn't look too sightly it's just easier there this is actually a poof as you can see but we've got this um like beige rug on it it's not like it's not ideal but we keep this blanket on there just to stop the dog scratching it eventually we will get a silver one to match we have this big floor cushion this was from aldi i love this cushion um but at the minute we just don't really have anywhere to put it so it is there but i hope when esme's toys are gone or you know when we have people around or as it's bigger she can sit on this cushion it's just really nice and i love the color so we have these big bifold doors these curtains were from 
Asda, I think Asda Home. And then they actually match our cushions quite well. This is the sofa. The cushions all came with the sofa. They're a bit of a mess at the minute because the dogs push the cushions off all the time. So I've just kind of shoved them in that corner for now. This blanket is from Primark. Again, we keep them on there just to stop the dogs. I think this is the either large or extra large throw. So as you can see, the dogs have pulled the blanket off. And then Esme's just got a blanket there. <laughs> this blanket is some Star Wars one. I did get him this for Christmas, one of the first years we met. It's on there, as you can see, it's full of dog hair because it didn't come off in the wash. So this is why we have blankets on to stop the dog hair going everywhere. But when Primark opens up again, I will be buying another blanket that colour to go here because it doesn't look very nice. So, on to the main event. This is Esme's corner. <laughs> as you can see, she pr pretty much has like half of the living room full of toys. So she has this ball pit. This was kind of bought for her for Christmas from her auntie. It's Sam's sister. It's like a memory foam. Are you coming to play? This is memory foam. And it came, she bought some balls with it, but I ended up buying a pack of like 200 balls myself as well. So I think there's about 300 balls in here. <laughs> and it's just absolutely full to the brim of toys. So what I do is just keep all those many soft toys in here so she can play. And it just means that they aren't clogging up a toy basket or anything. So this is her doll. This is from actually like one of the markets at Skegna. My mum got her this for Christmas. And then this is just a puppet she got. I think my sister got her that. Me and Sam got her this monkey. These A lot of these toys would have been in what Esme was going to get for Christmas. And then she's got an Upsy Daisy that talks. Um, Teletubbies. This little mouse that rattles. She's got a Bing that was for Christmas from my auntie. Hey. This is from Sam's brother. It's one of the Link Malls from Fisher Price. Hey. I, look, oh, <laughs> I didn't even press that. And then she's got this doll. This is from Sam's mum. It's like a sensory doll, which I love. It's got the zip. It's got that. That's going to go on for ages now. So, yeah, she loves her ball pit, but she doesn't really like if we leave her in it. She loves standing over the side and leaning in and messing with the ball. She doesn't really like sitting in it. <laughs> so, here's Esme. She's come to play, haven't you? Has Esme come to play with mummy? So, this is something else I bought in that Peppa Pig bundle. So it's this Peppa Pig burst, and if you press this, it does talk. Oh, and it sings and stuff. So this is the burst. And these are the toys. These are just all in the big bundle. So this is another mummy pig she's got, but this one has got different legs. But the people actually sit in the burst. So they've just got all like the legs that sit on the seats. So she loves, obviously, I put them in the burst, and she just takes them back out and just eats them. And then this one came in the bundle, but it's missing an arm. <laughs> but, yeah, she loves playing with them, don't you, Esme? Do you love them? Do you love them? She just throws them around and eats them, so that's what she likes to do, don't you, Esme? So that hasn't really got a home at the minute. I'm, think oh. <laughs> I'm thinking of just getting a basket just for, like, Peppa Pig stuff eventually, but I'm not too sure. This is our shelving unit at the minute. It has got, like, some nappies on there that I'm going to sort out. And then it's got some books on here that are Christmas books that actually need to go upstairs in the loft just because I sorted her bookcase out. So this is Esme's rocking horse. This was online from Aldi and we got it for Christmas for her. I think it's about £35 and she absolutely loves it. She can actually rock it herself now. It's really cute. And then on here, like I said, we haven't got a home for the Peppa Pig stuff. <laughs> so her Peppa Pig stuff is just currently living on here. So as well in the bundle of Peppa Pig stuff, I've got this train i don't know if it takes batteries it doesn't look like it does but it's got is that grandma pig i don't really know to be honest and then these bits like hook on and the people sit in there and then there's a tra uh, car there that the bigger pigs sit in that are on her walker are you eating him that's nice <laughs> So yeah, and then behind here we've got this sensory water mat. Esme has never really played with that at all. She doesn't really bother with it. Since she's been crawling, she's been playing with it like a little bit more. She'll hit it and stuff, but she's not really bothered. And then over here, there's lots of stuff. This kind of ends up just standing against the unit because she plays with that like all the time. That is her favourite toy at the minute, I would say. It makes lots of different sounds. It is supposed to have a phone here, but it didn't come with it because we got it second hand. But yeah, she absolutely loves that. She pulls herself up on it, plays with the shapes. She loves these shapes that click on and stuff like that. So over here, this is Esme's bookcase. So her favourite books are these. That's not my book. She loves messing with the things because they are all touchy-feely. If you don't know what I'm on about, then they have like all these sensory bits on them. So like the ears are different. 
every page is something different. Yeah, they're your favourite. And then she has this shape sorter. This is like a cookie jar and it sings when you put the shapes in. She doesn't obviously put the shapes in, she just eats the shapes. <laughs> but that was from my grandma for Christmas for Esme. There is like a few of her shapes in there that belong with something else. So this is her bookcase. This was from Sam's parents for Christmas and I particularly asked for this because we had nowhere to store Esme's million books. So we are collecting all of the Julia Donaldson books. So at the top, these are all Julia Donaldson and these are mostly Julia Donaldson with like a few big ones. And then these are just different ones, some of the ones we got for Christmas. And then these are like the smaller ones. These are all from Audi actually. These are all like the ones about the emotion. So it's like... They're a bit old for Esme, but when she gets older, I just thought they were really good because obviously Aldi don't stock the same sort of things, so they're just really good books. And then here, yeah, my tripod is there currently just because Esme was playing with it, so I tried to hide it. <laughs> but these are some of her bigger books, so this is like a big pop up book. These are like some ones that won't fit on her shelf. These are actually really good ones. We got these second hand as well, but they move, so obviously a bit old for Esme at the minute, but you can still read them anyway, but they just change. And like stuff like that i enjoy that sort of thing so i'm sure as we were when she's older <laughs> so we've got the cinderella one and we've got a red riding hood one like that and then these are just the like board books that move um also i picked up these second hand i thought these would be really good for when we're trying to pass train as when she's older because people have been saying like it's best to occupy them when they're potty on the potty to keep them busy so these are kind of like hide and seek books like a where's wally book for, for kids so like all these things on oh you're pressing your toy so all these things are on the bottom they have to find it in the picture so for example like bumblebees and there's like bees here so i just thought that was a really good point she gets bigger obviously they don't really need to be down here at the minute because they're too big but we haven't really got anywhere else to keep them so that's one of the noises that makes isn't it as may you love it so next to it we've got this cube this was in my christmas haul for esme as well this was from groupon but you can get them everywhere i've seen loads of them so it's got so many things on so we need to put batteries in it actually but you can press these and it's like the shape sort of some of the shapes are in that cookie jar this has got this that turns oh are you okay <laughs> oh dear are you okay is it nicey then <laughs> so yeah it's got a phone i don't actually know where that phone's gone it must be in her toy box somewhere this door opens if you unlock it with the key and then this is her favorite thing as well this is the tree this is one of the shapes that i was talking about the others are in the cookie jar but that's got like a mini shape sorter this um circle thing with the ladybird spins and it makes the animal noises these sing the alphabet and like says it like a phonics type of way they're really good <laughs> These sing, and then like she t loves to turn the book pages, and they make noises too. This is her animal arc. This was from my mum for Christmas. So all the animals on here, it's like a shape sorter on this side, and then this side, they can magnet magnet to these. She mostly just eats them animals. She's too young, but we I love that anyway. I love wooden toys. So I also got this Peppa Pig. Thing. this was in the Peppa Pig bundle it's just second hand it actually has batteries but we haven't got any at the minute but it's just like a mirror there and I don't know what the batteries do to be honest but it came with some little cups so it's got two cups she loves to pretend to drink out of them but I don't know where the, th the other oh the other cups like in there you can see it <laughs> this was from my mum for Christmas we actually love this as well it sings as you can see but it comes with like this fake milk jug and then it's got a little egg and then it's got some cherries and it does have like a bar of chocolate and some mixing spoons and it sings about mixing making cakes basically esme loves to eat the spoons off it so we, that usually just lives there and then next up we've got this toy basket this is from um <laughs> this is from home sense and whatever's in the toy basket she doesn't really play with too much at the minute um, we were playing with this yesterday. This was actually from Ikea, but I got it pre-loved and I just put it in the washing machine. There were all these little, f um, I don't know, like felt food. So she's got a little mushroom, which is so cute. A cucumber, a leek, an apple, a cabbage and some carrots. And the leaves actually like Velcro off and on the carrots. I don't know if the leaves are from the, the cabbage actually, but they're on there at the minute anyway. But she was playing with that yesterday. She actually really liked that and the dog always steals this this one's gone really bobbly in the washing machine 
but if I can de-bobble that, it will be perfect. She actually quite likes this rainmaker now. She's been playing with that recently. And then she's got, we always, I like to play with this with her because I just think it's fun where you like hit it. And then she's got this little smart bar. This is for Christmas. I think she's still a bit young for this really at the minute. She's not, not a massive fan, but this usually lives in the ball pit as well. <laughs> And then the rest of the toys in here, like I said, she doesn't really play with at the minute. I think they're all either a bit young or she's just not interested. She's She prefers to play with everything that's not toys, to be honest. But yeah, so overall I would say her favourite toys are the tree, this walker. She loves these books and she loves her big walker. And we've been playing with the Peppa Pig toys like every day, to be honest, just because they're on the floor. But as you can see, she loves everything that's not her toys. So she loves to play with this. Um, but yeah. So that is everything in Esme's little corner. She does actually have like a few more toys and stuff upstairs as well, of course. She's very spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> She's so very spoiled. Um, but I don't mind having all these toys here. I love that she can play and hopefully when she gets a bit bigger she's happy to play here because at the minute if I'm if I put her in here and shut the stair gate and I'm in the, the kitchen cooking she screams. She does not like that she can't see me and she likes to follow me. So if I leave the room she will just crawl straight after me. She follows me everywhere. So yeah she doesn't really play in here at the minute unless I sat here with her. I know that every day Sam comes in here with her and plays with like... I don't know, just her toys, and they have a good time. Um, and I try and come in here every morning with her and play because normally in the evenings I'm cooking and just pumping and just really busy. So he plays with her in the evenings, and I play with her in the mornings. And it's usually like before nap time that I play, and then sometimes in the afternoon as well. But yeah, so if there's any questions about anything, where anything was from that I didn't cover, then please let me know. I really hope this is useful for people. Again, these are Esme's favorite toys at nine months old. Hopefully. Some of the ones that she's not so obsessed with at the minute she will grow to love and obviously kids like different things so hopefully when we have more kids in the future we can keep everything and they all like it too it's a very excessive toy corner so i know that she's got so many toys but yeah she's very spoiled she's the first grandbaby the first baby and you get everything you want don't you yeah <laughs> cutie so I really hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye. Say bye. You can say it.